good morning students today our class is english and we will study a new chapter unit number 3 glimpses of the past it is a pictorial story you will read yourself i just make this summary that you can uh, understand very easily okay let's start the english east india company came to india for trade but with its superior weapons and shrewd diplomacy it extended its power in the 18th century indian princes were divided and short sighted people in india had no peace due to constant fights among the state of the country they sought the help of the english merchants to defeat each other this rivalry is Helped the company to defeat and subdue Indian princes one by one. A far-sighted ruler like the brave Tipu Sultan of Mysore fought the British till he died fighting. Now Indians reacted to the con uh, conquest made by the English company. Some of them thanked God as well as. the british for restoring peace in the country and stopping looting they said their destiny was linked with the english but there were other who felt unhappy they complained that the white man had killed or dethroned their kings no doubt some kings were bad but after all they were indians under the white rulers they had become slaves some religious leaders supported the social evils such as untouchability and child marriage they they forbade crossing the seas and going abroad a few even said that women were blamed for all these misery the truth was the indians had lost self respect the white hated and disbelieved them the english were merchants fast their main the their aim was to make quick profit they imposed heavy taxes on the farmers they sent many farmers to jail for failing to pay their tax in arrears they destroyed the local indian industries in order to sell goods manufactured in england they ex exempted all goods imported from inland from duties thus they win indian artists and their business raja ramon roy a learned social reformer from bengal understood what was wrong with the country he called upon the people to feel proud of their ancient culture and get the society rid of silly superstitions he pointed out at all religious priests and same thing he understood the importance of science and modern knowledge he started newspaper but the british stopped them in 1823 he crossed the sea and went to england to see what made the british so powerful he then adopted the middle path so this is the main story or summary of the story um i think you will understand whenever when you read this story from textbook you will definitely understand what i uh, just read okay thank you next see you in next class